What is up everybody, welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to check the version number of a Python package. And in this video, I'm gonna show you two methods that you can use, one via the command line and actually one via through um, the Python interpreter or through a Python script that you can use. So let's hop right in and start talking about method number one. So checking the package version or information about a package via the command line is actually pretty easy. Easy. It involves using um, pip, which is the tool, if you, if you aren't familiar with it, pip is the tool that's used to help install other packages um, for Python. And so if you want to check the version of a pi uh, of a package, you can you do one or two things uh, using pip. I like to use just pip list. So if I just type in pip list in my command line, um, granted for this setup too, I should know I am using a virtual environment. So you can see that that's over here. And this will show me all the packages that I have installed for that. So that, that's what pip list does. It'll show you all the packages that you have installed, whether it's for your virtual environment or just your normal um, Python environment, if you're using that. And if I do this, it's going to show me that I have four packages installed. I have the package numpy and its version. I have the package pip and its version setup tools. And so right there, we just found there's a really simple way um, to find all the package information. Another way that you can do this is also calling pip freeze. Um, and this will also do the same thing, but just show it in a slightly different version. And the reason that we're only showing one here is because a lot of times pip freeze is used for things like, um, like when you're building like a requirements file for like this whole project to work. Oftentimes you don't need things like wheel and setup tools. Like these are additional things that are used to help um, kind of help set up environments and get them going. Whereas pip freeze is going to give you all the things that are needed to actually make sure when you're using this environment that it'll work properly for the applications that you're running. Um, another thing that you can use with pip is like if you want the version information as well as further information, you can say pip show. But pip show, if I just run this, it's going to say, hey, like I, you need to provide a package name. Um, and that's where you can go pip show and say numpy. And then this will give you, or NumPy, however you pronounce it, this will give you the name, the version, uh, summary, you know, other information, that, license information, location of where it's being stored, um, so on and so forth. Um, so that's how you can use the command line to essentially um, find the version information. I typically, when I'm doing this, usually go with pip list or pip freeze. Um, show is just a nice option. Um, if you know the exact package name, sometimes I forget the package name or like I think it's like NumPy and or say one that I'm familiar with is like um, OpenCV. You know, I know OpenCV is a popular Python package that's used for image processing, uh, but sometimes um, the actual Python package name is like OpenCV-Python, I think is what it is, but I don't always remember that. So I like to just go with pip list and that'll give you the basic version information. So what happens now if you are trying to check the package number, but um, you're not at a, ter well, I guess you're either in a script or you're in the Python interpreter and you're wanting to check like, hey, I imported this, um, so what do I do? That's what I wanna show you now. Cause so if I just start up the Python um, interpreter, what this will do is because I am running um, I am running this Python interpreter and I called it the, while I was in the, my virtual environment, it's going to basically suck in all of those um, packages that are within that environment and I can use them here. So now what I can say is I can say something like import numpy as np and then it'll import it. And now it's just like, okay, I'm running my script. I've been doing a bunch of stuff, say with, with numpy, like what, um, how do I check? How do I check if, if that is, if I can use that or not? And one thing that you can do is just simply going np dot underscore underscore so the double underscore version underscore underscore and and hitting enter. Um, what that'll do is just it'll print out and the interpreter will print out um, the, the the version number of this. Now, if you're in a script like a, a normal uh, script, what you'll probably have to do is say print and mp dot underscore underscore version and that'll do the exact same thing um just it won't show kind of it with the quotes so there you have it that's a nice simple way that you can use um while in the interpreter or whether in your python script that you can check um the version number of your package that you're trying to use so if you have any if you're trying to use a specific version you can know exactly which version you're using um to either upgrade or stay with where you're at so i hope this provided you um some use and will help you out in your future future endeavors with programming and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and until next time keep on programming